à tous de DDO, attention pour les décomptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage Ariane 239. And DDO calls out that all is working flawlessly on board. Ariane 5, right on time, begins her mission, lifting off with a lot of fire, as you saw, carrying her two new satellites. The two boosters are providing 90, that's 90% of our thrust right now. The DDO saying all is fine on board. 776 tons is our weight, is our mass at liftoff. And to get that sort of mass off the ground, you need, of course, a lot of push. Ariane is burning five tons of fuel every second, two and a half tons in each booster every second. And the core stage burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. Ariane 5 now following the program <laughs> the <laughs> the computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we're going to see in just a minute. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn and in detail so you can follow Ariane as she heads across the Atlantic eastward. Right now, the first flight phase, as we watch these wonderful pictures, very clear. Est correct, the la single first est stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons in just over two minutes. They are the first to be extinguished. You'll hear that from the DDO. Le pilotage est calme. This first flight phase using both cryogenic and storable propellant, a mix, cryogenic propulsion offers certain advantages over storable propellant, better, more precise performance. It can be turned off and on. Motors can function longer. Ariane's one, two, four owe their success to storable propellant, not cryogenics. You see the points of light burning. Those are the boosters and the core stage. And very shortly, you should be able to see the separation des deux EAP. La trajectoire est nominale. The DDO has confirmed extinction and separation of the boosters. There's the two orange points of light on either side. The boosters falling away. The white point of light in the middle is the core stage continuing to burn. The boosters will fall 500 kilometers from shore in a protected area. French Guiana, chosen in part as a base for its opening on the ocean, on the Atlantic, launches posing no threat to local population. We'll have more on that a bit later on. The speed we need to inject a satellite is roughly 9 kilometers per second, 9,000 kilometers an hour. And you can see on the bottom right, our speed now is just over two per second. Our altitude is over on the left, over 100 kilometers up. We're getting close to separation of the fairing. There we are. Separation, separation is given.